The result of somebody crashing my boat is I had to get this beautiful rental boat for the today. I've got some gear down with some anchovy sauce. some fresh live bait here. It's pretty important to get some live bait. I'll try and get a shot of it. It's not live anymore, but it was fresh. As fresh as it gets, so it should be a really good chance of getting some here today. Really need to be holding my rod the whole time. I don't have a holder. What I'm doing now is there's probably fish following it by now. So I'm going to speed up and slow down a little bit, make some turns. See if I can spark a fish to check that drag a little bit. If they're following it, you really want them to think that it's afraid of them and trying to run. If you don't, then they'll know it's fake. speed up and slow down and see if we can get one interested in it if it's following it it'll think it spooked it and then slam it that's what we're hoping for is get the bigger smarter fish here I don't want a dumb young one we're gonna troll down here and then do some jigging today is a Puget Sound South Puget Sound Salmon Derby a lot of boats out here over 300 entries this year <clears throat> which is pretty good, 300 entries. Probably a shaker or a baby dog fish. <laughs> nope, just a strike, maybe. I just know the area because I've used my fish finder here. I'm going down to 40. slap it with our tail. Usually what happens. Flip it over. And just pop right out. You got
camera on. These guys in trolling and jigging and all these guys trolling are just getting right up on us. I've had one guy snag all my stuff once already. I'm yell at a couple other guys already. Like, come on, people. There's a certain distance you can get next to another boat. Just respect that and you'll be good. And stay 50 feet away. I don't know what people are thinking out here. Fish on. Went to jig. Man, we got a decent one on here. Decent fish. Not a definitely a salmon. Oh yeah, that's a nice one too. Hope it's not a native. <laughs> there he is. Let's see if he's a native. Hatchery. Hatchery. Looks like a hatchery. way when it hits that straight piece right there with the bumper it brings your hook straight up and down your other one you've tied so they're opposite directions it ups your odds you're gonna grab it from either side when it grabs it back here I don't know if you've noticed the difference in my old ones and my new ones are a ridiculous amount of size drop and hooks from these guys all right, I have done hours and hours, thousands of hours of watching these fish come up and grab the back of a shank on a coho killer, shake it, follow it for five minutes, and then take off. If had I slowed the boat down, sped up, went side to side, it would have thought it was real after it bit at the back of it and attacked it just like a lion attacking a gazelle. No difference. So when you do think you have a shaker, slow your boat down, speed it up, turn it left or right. Same with jigging. You think there is a little bump, drop it back down. Don't bring it back in. It, it could be following it around. It's looking for that prey to stumble one way or the other. Then it pounces. 